I think we ought to eliminate property tax in the state of Florida, and there's no reason that we can't, because property tax is a tax of oppression. It's, a, it's, it's not a tax of consumption. We ought to be basing our tax system based on what you consume, not on what you own. And if we look at uh, property tax, it impacts almost most people in the state of Florida. I would have no property tax uh, except that we would make, in sales tax, we would add the sales tax except for health care, pharmaceuticals, and food so that we make sure those who are less ad advantageous than the rest aren't hurt by that. You do away with a lot of sales tax exemptions currently. Absolutely. Well. You know, we need to quit picking winners and losers. You know, part of the problem with the property tax, every time we change who gets an exemption, who gets this, somebody else is paying for that. So now we have this system where there's all these winners and losers. Why don't we do something that's fair so that it impacts everybody the same? And then if you want to buy a Mercedes, you pay more in sales tax. You want to buy a Ford Fiesta, you pay less. You want to buy fancier clothes, you pay more. You want to buy less, you pay less. And then that way you don't have that, what I call the shock in November, when you got in this state an average of a five to $7,000 property tax bill, which is usually a big bill for most people in the state of Florida. So local governments, under your uh, idea here, would get revenue sharing back from the state uh, as a result of an increased sales tax? Basically, we'd allocate the same money that's currently generated. It's revenue neutral. I'm not adding more tax revenue. I'm simply keeping it revenue neutral. So we keep allocating the revenue to where it currently is.